Natsusa was originally the most promising rookie of Dashisha University's rugby team. But after a motorcycle accident with his teammate Ibuki, Natsusa not only had to stay in the hospital for six months, but worse, from now on he will have to leave the field forever. On the first day back to school, Natsusa was picked up by his close friend Seikairu. As soon as he got to class, Natsusa coincidentally met two juniors from his old high school's rugby team. However, only Fuga seemed happy to see Natsusa again, while Yasunari was extremely cold. At the team's practice field, the members were excited to see Natsusa, but Captain Gekudo was quite worried about his health. After practice that day, Vice Captain Akuto announced that Natsusa would officially return to the team, but only as a manager and would be responsible for all the odd jobs within the team, such as preparing training gear and assisting each member in their training. Natsusa's decision made Seikairu unhappy because Seikairu thought that Natsusa was not physically fit enough to be a manager. However, upon witnessing Natsusa's determination to stick with rugby, Seikairu was finally convinced and accepted the decision. That afternoon, Natsusa and Seikairu sat down to eat with the group of new players. Natsusa discovered that a first year named Yu was eating alone. In order to do a good job as a manager, Natsusa read through the information of all the team members and learned that Yu was a student of a specialized high school. But for some reason he entered Dashisha and tried to join the team with his weak constitution. The next morning Natsusa had his first day at work as a manager. But because he was not used to the new job, he made many mistakes and caused a lot of trouble for everyone. At the end of practice, while helping Seikairu stretch, Natsusa suddenly discovered Yu lying unconscious on the field. After being taken to the hospital for a checkup, Yu was diagnosed with anemia and stomach pain due to malnutrition and stress. Talking to Yu, Natsusa learned that Yu was weak but loved rugby, so Yu was determined to practice hard to keep up with everyone. Although Natsusa believes that Yu's current health condition is completely unsuitable for being a player, he uses himself as an example to convince Yu to join the team in a more suitable role. The next morning, Yu happily announces to the team that he will be taking on the role of manager from now on. This actually helps Yu integrate better with the other members. However, Natsusa is scolded by Vice Captain Akuto for daring to turn a member into his assistant. Then, when Natsusa has to go to the warehouse to get cream for everyone, he unexpectedly finds the uniform of his former teammate Ibuki, who is currently in a miserable state in his messy apartment. Yu has created an extremely professional team management software that makes everyone admire. Seeing this, Natsusa immediately advises Yu to quit his current job and open a company. Immediately, the first years strongly oppose it. According to the schedule, the next opponent would be Heidoki University, who had been crushed by Dashisha last year. So Natsusa didn't pay much attention to them and instead focused on Kufuin University, who had always been at the top of the Kansai League leaving Dashisha in second place. To put an end to this, Natsusa told Seikairu that he would bring the god defender Ibuki back to the team. Ever since the accident, Ibuki had always thought that Natsusa's inability to continue playing was his fault, so he left the team and cut off contact with everyone. One evening, while flirting with girls at a bar, Ibuki was shocked to see Natsusa suddenly appear. He had initially intended to avoid his old friend. But when he saw Natsusa unconscious due to his recurring injury, Ibuki became extremely worried and immediately carried Natsusa out. After Natsusa recovered, he tried to convince Ibuki to return to rugby, but Ibuki firmly refused. However, Natsusa did not give up easily. In the following days, Natsusa repeatedly went to Ibuki's apartment to convince Ibuki to fill out an application to join the team. He even stuffed the application form into Ibuki's mailbox, wallet, and supermarket counter to force Ibuki to change his mind. That afternoon, Natsusa found Ibuki sitting alone in the church and filled out the application on his own despite Ibuki's objections. Knowing that Ibuki was still struggling, Natsusa said that he did not blame Ibuki for the accident before and now that he could not play. What he wanted most was to see Ibuki and Seikairu play in his place. After hearing these words, Ibuki finally understood and agreed to return to the team. Natsusa was so excited that he immediately informed the members that Ibuki would be making his debut tomorrow. As scheduled, Ibuki gave a rather awkward speech to the members the next morning. Most of them, although not supportive, did not object to his return. Only one member named Teze was extremely dissatisfied thinking that Ibuki did not deserve forgiveness when he left the team without saying a word. To solve this, Natsusa suggested that he would put Ibuki on Team B in the internal practice match so that he could prove his ability. If he could not meet the team's requirements, Ibuki would have to be Natsusa's assistant until he graduated. 
Before the match, Yu was worried that the team members would not accept Ibuki, but Natsusa said that would not happen because Ibuki had played rugby since elementary school and had many connections in the industry. Furthermore, despite being a star, Ibuki is very approachable, so he always receives admiration from his juniors. When the whistle to start the match sounded, Ibuki missed the ball in the first situation. As a result, Team B was 9 points behind after the end of the first half. During the break, Natsusa went to ask and found out that although Ibuki had been out for 7 months, he still practiced weightlifting and jogging every day to improve his fitness. Natsusa used his eyes to threaten Ibuki and forced him to play seriously. Thanks to this scary encouragement, Ibuki played extremely explosively and became the brightest star of the match. Ibuki's impressive return made the player in the same position named Makoto feel worried because he thought he might lose his official position. Captain Gekudo quickly realized this and asked Makoto to focus on the match again. At the end of the practice session, Tima destroyed Team B by a margin of 28 points. Even so, the whole team could still see Ibuki's strength, so they finally agreed to let him back into the team. That night, Natsusa moved into the dormitory so that he could monitor everyone's practice. Surprisingly, Natsusa was assigned to share a room with Yasunari, who seemed to have a bad feeling towards him. After a few days of living together, Natsusa couldn't stand Yasunari's unapproachable personality, so he complained to Ibuki about this. However, because he was concentrating on lifting weights, Ibuki only gave his a vague answer, which made Natsusa feel even more frustrated. After three weeks of playing in Team B, Ibuki was finally able to return to Team A with a new number 20, and he quickly ran to show off to Natsusa, but unexpectedly received some harsh words from Natsusa, telling his not to get excited before getting his number 10 back. That afternoon, at the school's practice field, Natsusa was suddenly approached by an opposing player named Ryuisei. It turned out that this young man was a huge fan of Natsusa, so when he had the chance to meet his idol, he asked for an autograph. In the locker room before the match, Captain Gekudo asked everyone to concentrate and definitely win today's match to open the door to the national tournament. At the start of the match, Dashisha University, with its superior level, easily took the lead. However, on the sidelines, Ibuki discovered that Yasunari was shaking when facing Ryuisei, the fan who had copied Natsusa's playing style quite perfectly. Besides, Makoto was also not playing really well after being continuously surpassed by the opponent, so the captain decided to let Ibuki enter the field, making Teze feel quite uncomfortable. As soon as he entered the field, Ibuki made a difference when he continuously had good coordination with Ethan, thereby scoring important points for Dashisha. However, with the weakness of Yasunari's position, Dashisha could not avoid defeat, even though Isui University was considered a not-so-strong opponent. After the match ended, the two main players of the great rival Kufuan, the siblings Madoka and Kazutaka, came to visit Natsusa and congratulate Ibuki on returning to rugby because, after all, they were close teammates in high school. However, contrary to Madoka's happiness, Kazutaka seemed very bitter towards Ibuki and promised that he would make Ibuki regret breaking his word. After his poor performance, Yasunari was warned by Captain Gekudo to improve his performance in the next match or he would be dropped from the starting lineup. Not only that, when passing by the locker room, Yasunari also heard people talking about how if Natsusa hadn't had an accident, a substitute like Yasunari would never have a chance to play. His anger immediately exploded, Yasunari immediately rushed to fight with Katari, but Fuga stopped them in time. When Natsusa tried to mediate, Yasunari pushed him away, so he decided to summon his vice-captain, the Kudo, and leave it to his senior to deal with. Back in the dormitory, Natsusa said that he knew exactly why Yasunari was playing worse, but if Yasunari wanted to know, he would have to obediently listen to him for the next two weeks. Having no choice, Yasunari had to absolutely obey Natsusa's every command in the following days in the hope of overcoming his weakness. In a special exercise, Natsusa drew a large rectangle and asked Yasunari not touch him. However, despite trying many times, Yasunari was still unable to succeed even once. Only then did Natsusa reveal to Yasunari the reason why he had been getting worse recently, which was because he had been trying to copy other people's styles and gradually lost his own style of play. In order to help Yasunari find himself, Natsusa took him to Yu's house to watch the tapes of his high school matches, which helped Yasunari remember how he used to play. The next day, Natsusa asked Yasunari to practice by passing a large group of people, and his progress really surprised everyone. Back at the dormitory, Natsusa continued to give Yasunari advice, telling him to focus on his strengths and turn them into dangerous weapons on the field. 
On the day of the important match against Hibuki University, Yasunari seemed to regain his confidence and then had an extremely excellent performance, bringing victory to Dashisha and receiving praise from the captain. That night, while preparing to go to bed, Natsusa's old injury suddenly relapsed, making him unable to move. Seeing this, Yasunari worriedly ran to find Seikairu. Seikairu had probably encountered this situation many times before. He calmly gave first aid to Natsusa and told Yasunari to go to the training ground because Natsusa would probably be lying down all day today. Yasunari thought that Natsusa's old injury had relapsed because he was helping him practice. He felt extremely uncomfortable and blamed himself. However, Seikairu said that it was not his fault and that Natsusa had to take responsibility for what he wanted to do. Recently, Seikairu suddenly had problems with conversion kicks, a technique that he had always been very confident in. So he confided this to the second year members. Without Natsusa's management, all the work of the team now fell on Yu and he completely lost control. Even though he was lying down to recover, Natsusa still knew the lineup for the next match and was very happy to see that both Yasunari and Ibuki were back in the starting lineup. At this point, Teize expressed his displeasure with Ibuki and decided not to visit Natsusa with everyone else. Teize felt that Ibuki had been forgiven so easily, and that only his senior from high school, Makoto, deserved to be chosen as the official. After practice, the team members visited Natsusa and tried everything to help him recover quickly. However, it seemed that those extreme methods were not as scary as Yu's herbal soup. After everyone had left, Ibuki visited Natsusa and talked about the conflict with Teize in the club. A few days later, Natsusa recovered just before the important match against Sasa University, a team that played quite rough and often provoked fights with their opponents. Last year, the match between Dashisha and Sasa was interrupted by a fight, so everyone was telling themselves to stay calm in every situation so that they could aim for victory. However, some bad guys from Sasa University deliberately went to Dashisha's locker room to cause trouble. And then, after hearing them using the motorcycle accident to insult Ibuki, Natsusa shouted loudly and aggressively rushed forward to fight them. Luckily, Vice Captain Akuto stopped them in time. Otherwise, Natsusa would have been bedridden for days. After provoking the Dashisha players, the Sasa members continued to pick a fight with Yu while he was preparing the match equipment for the members. After the collision, Yu's tablet fell to the ground. They stomped on it and leisurely walked away as if nothing had happened. Yasunari saw everything from afar, so he wanted to fight them. But Yu stopped him because he didn't want the team's efforts to be in vain. With no other choice, Yasunari promises to defeat Sasa University to avenge Yu. Even though the match is about to start, the condition of the Dashisha members still doesn't seem to be very good. Teize still holds a grudge against Ibuki, and Seikairu is also meditating to regain his free kick feeling. After the opening whistle, both sides immediately rushed in as if they wanted to devour each other. However, unlike last year, the Dashisha players were calmer and no longer took the provocation from their opponents. The first scoring opportunity came to Dashisha after a Sasa player committed a foul, and Seikairu was given the chance to take a free kick. However, after seeing Natsusa standing outside the field watching, Seikairu unexpectedly missed the shot, surprising everyone. Things got worse when Seikairu continued to miss the second free kick. Meanwhile, Teize was completely overcome by his personal emotions and refused to pass the ball to Ibuki, causing his team to lose the point. During the break, Natsusa went to ask Seikairu, but Seikairu said that he just wanted to be alone. He then proactively suggested changing the free kick taker, but was rejected by Captain Gakudo. Teize was also scolded by Makoto for not cooperating with Ibuki. Makoto understood that Teize's goal was to prevent Ibuki from scoring and the coach would be forced to substitute him. However, Makoto did not want to compete for a position in this way, so he begged Teize to devote himself to the team. After a period of observation, Natsusa discovered that Sasa University's weak point was player number 15. Therefore, he told Yasunari to try to exploit that player, thereby scoring the first five points for Dashisha. Facing the third free kick, Seikairu continued to receive trust and successfully scored two more points. However, just when the team was on the rise, defender Takumi had to leave the field after a dangerous collision. In the end, Dashisha lost and was ridiculed by Sasa's players. Yasunari was very ashamed for not being able to fulfill his previous promise to Yuu. In the hospital, Takumi broke his leg and had to sit out the rest of the tournament. Natsusa was feeling heartbroken when Seikairu suddenly said that it was Natsusa who caused him to lose his stability when taking free kicks. Specifically, Seikairu realized that since Natsusa became the manager and often stood outside watching the match, 
He had developed a sense of anxiety that led to his inability to take free kicks well. Unable to accept this unreasonable statement and say Kairu's uncomfortably calm face, Natsusa got angry and continuously scolded his close friend. Taking advantage of the few days off after the match, Ibuki proposed the idea of returning to Orita to visit the high school again, in order to find an opportunity to solve the problem of Seikairu and Natsusa. That same night, the group took the express train to Orita and rented a hotel room to stay. Yasunari and Yu were assigned to stay in the same room to take care of Natsusa so that Ibuki could have a chance to talk to Seikairu. The next morning, the group went to Masagi High School, where they used to play together. Ibuki then suggested that everyone visit the club room, but then secretly got on the bus with Yasunari and Yu, wanting to create a chance to solve the problem with Seikairu and Natsusa's bus. After getting rid of the two of them, Ibuki thought he would have a free day, but suddenly received a call from Ethan, saying that he knew that Natsusa's group was in Orita, so they came here for a trip. With no other choice, Ibuki was forced to become a tour guide to show everyone around the city and enjoy the hot springs. Meanwhile, at the hospital, although Teze received sincere advice from his senior Makoto, he still couldn't put aside his prejudice against Ibuki. He always felt that it was unfair that hard-working people like Takumi and Makoto always encountered bad luck and had to give up glory to someone with natural talent but not trying hard like Ibuki. In response to Teze's feelings, Takumi just wanted him to put aside all grudges with Ibuki and lead the team towards the national championship. After being left behind by Ibuki, Natsusa and Seikairu had a frank conversation with each other. Seikairu admitted that Natsusa was the biggest inspiration that brought him to rugby, so when Natsusa stood outside the field watching the match, he felt pressured because he was afraid of disappointing Natsusa. Hearing that, Natsusa immediately said that no matter how Seikairu performed, he still liked watching him play. Thanks to that, the misunderstanding between the two was completely resolved, along with Seikairu's psychological problems. After settling everything, Natsusa and Seikairu happily went to bathe in the famous hot springs in Orita with everyone. While the other members were playing in the hot springs, Captain Gekudo and Vice Captain Akudo chose to relax in the sauna. Here, the two of them reminisced about their memories from their first days at school until now. Ikuoto also expressed his admiration for Gakudo's leadership qualities and believed that Gakudo would successfully lead Dashisha to the national tournament. On the train back to school, everyone unexpectedly meets two brothers, Madoka and Kazutaka, from Kufuin University, who are also their opponents in the upcoming decisive match. As usual, Madoka happily greets his former high school juniors, then sits down to talk with Gekudo and Ikuto, and Kazutaka, of course, goes to find Ibuki to cause trouble. After getting off the train, Ibuki goes to see Kazutaka privately to settle the conflict once and for all, and the two decide that if Kufuin wins the upcoming match, Ibuki will have to kneel down and beg for Kazutaka's forgiveness. On the contrary, if Dashisha wins, Ibuki will only ask for a barbecue to make up with him. Back at the training ground, Natsusa is informed that the rookie Katori has been practicing physical attack exercises frantically these days, trying to replace Takumi's position. Contrary to what everyone thought, Natsusa not only did not praise him but also criticized Katori for practicing in vain because his small appearance was completely unsuitable for a power-oriented playstyle. Instead, Natsusa advised Katori to switch to practicing passing skills, which would be more beneficial to the team. Having his pride touched, Katori got angry and refused to accept Natsusa's opinion. But after Yasunari used himself as an example, Katori finally understood that Natsusa was just telling the truth that he did not want to hear. After the memorable trip, Vice Captain Akuto bought many keychains as gifts for the members, and the usually cold Captain Gakuto personally wrote a letter to thank the whole team. In the letter, Gakuto admitted that he was a poor captain for not being able to unite the first and third years. This put the team in a difficult situation in winning tickets to the national tournament, so he was really grateful for the trust he received from everyone. Feeling the sincere affection from the captain, all the members were determined to win the upcoming difficult match to correct their mistakes and complete the season's goal. That night, while eating together, everyone learned the reason why the friendship between Ibuki and Kazutaka had broken down. Before enrolling in university, Ibuki and Kazutaka had been famous best friends, always standing side by side and shining together in high school, although they had promised to join Kufuin University together at the decisive moment. Ibuki was forced by his family to choose the Shisha University, causing Kazutaka to feel betrayed, so every time they met, he showed an unpleasant expression towards Ibuki. Furthermore, while eating, Yu revealed that Katori no longer hated Natsusa, 
and that he and his first-year teammates were now preparing well for the upcoming match. Before the decisive match of the season, Natsusa drew a bear-shaped charm on Yasunari's hand, which was a secret lucky ritual that Natsusa used to do before every big match. At this time, Seikairu was in the bathroom when he was suddenly approached by Madoka and said that Natsusa didn't seem to care about him anymore. Fortunately, Ibuki appeared in time to stop Madoka from continuing to cause trouble. However, it seemed that Seikairu didn't pay attention to what he had just said. After a period of crisis, Teize also accepted to put aside his grudge with Ibuki to focus all his strength on the match with everyone. As soon as the referee's whistle blew, Madoka immediately served the ball forward. However, Seikairu was very quick to steal the ball and organize an attack. After a series of accurate passes, the ball reached Yasunari's hand to accelerate and score. However, Madoka appeared in time to stop him. From behind, Ibuki quickly rushed up and continued the attack, but Kazutaka suddenly rushed in and made a powerful headbutt that caused Ibuki to fall to the ground, blocking the Shisha's attack. Fufuin then implemented a strategy of following Ibuki's position closely, making it completely impossible for Dashisha to deploy the ball. When the first half had not yet ended, the gap was already 14 points for Kufuin University. After that, Kufuin continued to play better and increased the gap to 21 points. At this point, Katori had started to get nervous and kept making mistakes. However, Ibuki promptly realized this and went up to tell the boy something. It turned out that Dashisha had secretly changed his tactics by using Ibuki as bait to attract Kazutaka, then suddenly passing the ball to Katori, who rushed up from behind. With Katori's small body, he dodged all the tackles of the opponent and scored for Dashisha. After that, despite facing great pressure, Seikairu calmly executed the conversion kick thanks to Natsusa's encouragement from the sidelines. During a dispute over the ball, a Kufuin player committed a foul, allowing Dashisha to take a free kick. Although the distance was very far this time, Seikairu still decisively made a powerful kick and successfully scored a point to everyone's surprise. At the end of the first half, the score was 10 minutes 21 in favor of Kufuin. The second half began. The ball was immediately passed to Ibuki, and as usual, Kazutaka rushed to collide with Ibuki to steal the ball. This time Ibuki was injured and bleeding, making everyone feel worried. He was taken off the field so that Yu and Natsusa could treat his wound. Nakoto came in to replace Ibuki. Nakoto had been training very hard to compete with Ibuki for a position. However, I seemed to be overwhelmed by Kazutaka's terrible strength. Fortunately, Makoto's confidence returned when he scored brilliantly after a team-up play. However, the price was that the captain Gakudo injured his finger. After consecutively scoring important points, Dashisha reduced the gap to 4 points. And at this time, Ibuki's wound stopped bleeding. He returned to the field to replace Mikoto, surprising Kazutaka. When Yasunari came to Yu's house to watch the video, he learned that Yu had collected information on other teams, so he discussed with him how to restrain Madoka. After studying together for a while, both of them agreed that Madoka's good defense was due to his ability to accurately judge the opponent's intentions and move one step ahead. Therefore, Yu suggested that when facing Madoka, Yasunari should pass the ball to his weaker hand to confuse Madoka's judgment. Then he made a move that was the opposite of what he usually did. And it worked out well in the match. Madoka was completely surprised and easily outplayed. Dashisha got another 5 points thanks to Yasunari's brilliance. After Seikairu successfully executed the free kick, Dashisha took the lead for the first time. However, Kufuin almost immediately regained their advantage after taking advantage of Ethan's lack of concentration. This put Dashisha in a dangerous situation. If they failed in the next attack, they would lose their ticket to the national tournament. Fortunately, at this crucial moment, the team's solidarity was pushed up high, everyone, including Teize, supported Ibuki to carry the ball forward. And then, in the moment when Ibuki's vision blurred because of the wound bleeding again, Ibuki finally scored a precious five points to help Dashisha win against Kufuin. They successfully entered the national tournament with joy. Even though Kufuin lost this match, they already had a ticket to the national tournament, so the two brothers Madoka and Kazutaka were determined to win next time.